we came across it the other night um, after dinner, and remember those batteries that I got for the uh, the clock on the on the yeah. Honda? Do they fit they the, fit the they... cheat, and we put new batteries in the cheat. <laughs> now we can kick the cheat again, and it's like. Ah! Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to, I don't know. We're going to Union Bridge today. This is the uh, annual car show at Vintage Restorations. The people who built, rebuilt my TR3 engine that is installed and looking lovely on my completely running and rolling chassis for a TR3 that I don't have a body for. Mitch is on his way with the Corvette and we will be on our way shortly. I'm just gonna clean up the driveway a little bit. Good morning. Keegan and I are headed up to Vintage Restorations this morning in Union Bridge, Maryland for an open house that we like to go to every year. Should be a good time, but first some car Tetris. <laughs> Did it without stalling that time. I did. <laughs> it actually, since I got the half shaft, better. So it actually makes it easier to reverse yeah. without looking yep. like an idiot. Way up in Alaska, you can find midnight sunlight. Welcome to Union Bridge. We made it. I like that. It likes you. It does. Wait. No. It's another 380. It's not the one from downtown. This is an automatic. Yeah, the one from downtown. Was it a 380? I think it was, it was two something. Cause yeah, you're right. The 380s are the are the U.S. market yeah, ones. You yeah, you could have got yeah. the 380s were. A it thing, was a 280 that think, we saw downtown. Yeah. yeah. A 380 is still a V8, I believe. I think it is too. Um, the earlier, then they went to a four something was the V8, and then the there's a four, five. 450. Does that say yeah, 450? Yeah, so that's like the next evolution of, of this. the engine. Same, okay. same chassis code, but yeah. bigger V8. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jim is here somewhere, unless somebody else has a green Packard. Oh, is that Jim's? Yeah. We knew you were here, Jim. You can't, unless somebody else had a green Packard. Good to see it. Oh, I, I was expect to see you. Oh, yeah. What's up, sir? Every, everybody checked out. Okay, well, they, everybody already left? No. Nobody oh, came. They didn't come. They didn't come. What? 
Steve. Well, it, is a, it is a pretty terrible day. Right. <laughs> uh, Steve, Andy, me. Steve's probably going sailing because that's his. Yeah. Well, hitting. we put the differential together yesterday. No kidding. On the Citroen? Yeah. Did you put it together the right way? Yeah. You're sure he about packed that. the bearings. Yep. The so he grease. got the bearing. Yeah, put them yep. in and got the thing rethreaded like it's supposed to be. Did uh, did Lambert do that? No, no. Lambert recommended somebody else. Okay. And, and the, the new person was very enthusiastic about doing it. Really? This so sounds he, like somebody that we might need to uh, enlist to. Uh, Steve highly recommends. Okay. He did all that work for eighty bucks. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Attention to detail. No kidding. First and foremost. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, probably get a, a flywheel for a three hundred eight resurfaced. Okay. Get a LSD for a BMW put together. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we should do that. No, we should do that. Yeah, you're not going to sneak up on anybody with that car. Like, <laughs> we, we're like, well, Jim's here. Where'd you come in? The DeLorean. Oh, great. He's yeah. on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's been a couple of years. It has been. A, I've never brought I was it thinking here. about, like, did you ever sort out that gear oil leak on the rear end? It's still, it's still leaking. Okay. It's still leaking. Good to know. Yep. As long as it's consistently leaking. Yep. If it stops we, leaking, then we've got problems. <laughs> then, then we've got. Then we need to check it. Yeah. A kindred spirit, as they say. Oh, and it's it's a similar vintage to yours. It has your uh, your updated interior. This is a collector edition, so this would have been like a '95 or '96. Okay. I think '96. I think it might be the last year of the C4. They made C4s up until '96. Yep, 97 wow. was the first year of C5. And I bought this particular car yeah. because I had a 61. The, the, the most, the newest V8 iteration of this SL, which is the yeah. R129 chassis code, I believe. No. <laughs> this is pretty. Triumph. All right, we're gonna have to do a thing where we pick our favorite. If, if we could go home with any of the cars here, besides our besides, besides our, our own, own, right? Can't pick your own. Can't pick your own. room just you know because because when you have a cool shop you can just have the train room yeah. we, we don't have a train room. we don't have a train room no Some fail day. fail yeah. This is in the running. For, this is in the running for for my my pick. If I were to uh, go home with any car here that isn't mine, might be this. That's my pick. This is the one. If I could go home with any car that isn't mine at this show, it would be this, the 2002. My picks. I'm cheating, but it's a tie. I want I want the 911 Targa 
and the Mercedes SL, the 560 that's maroon. They're both the same color, so the color I got consistent, but I'm, I'm going to take both. Okay, the next question is, in order to get it home, one is going to have to tow the other. Which one tows and which one is towed? Um, good question. I'm going to go with the V8 and as the, the towing vehicle. Tow vehicle. Practical. That's really what the drivers Practical. were thinking when they put the 560 in there. That's right, yeah, to tow a 911. Yeah. 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 What'd you say? What'd you say? No, what'd she say? What'd you say? Now you're going to be quiet. You're behind bars. Forever. Oh. Well, that was certainly a knockabout of pure fun. Uh, let us know in the comments what you would have gone home with that wasn't your car. See you next time.